I mean, I told them, the guys in every club, if you do what I tell you physically, <laughs> you're gonna become NHL players. Physically, I cannot promise you to play in NHL. Keep the thing in your ice, Keep it in your ice, <laughs> To be good enough hockey players, but at least we can practice in a way so we physically will be ready for every situation wherever you end up in the world. Because that is not a talent. That is just to pay the price. <laughs> Let me ask you this then, this, this comes to mind. You know, they say that there are perhaps three different so-called philosophies. There's the Russian philosophy, there's the Canadian philosophy, and there's the Swedish philosophy. I don't know why nobody ever says the Finnish philosophy. Or the but, Danish. But, but, uh, or the Danish, you know, I guess maybe, maybe they hope that, well, there is that. It's the Hygge. Yeah, it's the you, you do the Hygge dance. Yeah, that's <laughs> So, um, so there's these three philosophies, let's just say, to make it simple. What is the difference to someone who doesn't know what that means? What is the is there a difference, or is that just a lot of baloney? I mean, is there a difference between these three philosophies? There is a big, big difference. There is. You know, it's hard to explain how, but you know, in, in Sweden is something something in between, but the. The positive part with the Swedish hockey is that, that we really go for quality and education. In Canada, they more go by tradition. That's your job to protect them in a fucking exhibition game. You know, take some responsibility for calling the hockey game. Take responsibility. Blame it on somebody else all the time. We talked a little bit and he asked me, he says, well, George, what are you going to do after college? I said, I have no idea. He says, yeah, well, I'm coaching over in Denmark. I said, Denmark? And so I said, where's Denmark? He said, I didn't know where Denmark was. How do you feel about the fact you're from North America, you're living in Denmark, you want to get one car, you got to pay for three. <laughs> you want the pickup truck like you have back home. <laughs> But you got to pay for three pickup trucks. Let me hear that feeling. Uh, I, uh, you know, I, That's gotta I just, hurt. it kills. Ty Bjorkstrand, player, knows how to put the puck in the net. Yeah. With that in mind, what do you think makes a great goalie? A great goalie? Oh, I mean, that's easy. I mean... Uh, I'm definitely not a goalie coach and I, I'm not going to pretend to be one, uh, but... <clears throat> I know enough to know that uh, that little black thing makes sure that it hits you. Uh, we're the oldest kingdom in the world uh, and 
and this this is us we have a queen and in my mind it's just uh, there is preserving there is no culture, really. there is no Denmark without the queen mm. we also do have a king on the rise many years ago a country called Canada defeated Denmark by the score of 47 to nothing but however however <laughs> only a few years ago Denmark tied Canada two to two mm. now that's almost winning yeah are you going to the world championships in Stockholm and do you think your highness that this is the year Denmark beats Canada Ooh. You almost uh, yeah. You have, it's a very good question. But, um, I would I would I would probably bet a few of my money on uh, on the fact that, that Denmark could could challenge Canada mm -hmm. this year for the first time and even uh, surpass them in uh, what I think hopefully could be a, would, would be a, a victory to Denmark. Tell us about that game because I actually mentioned that game to His Royal Highness Crown Prince Frederick. Uh, the other day, we talked about that 2 2 game, meaning that 2 2 against Canada is actually almost winning. Yeah. So please describe that because the last time Denmark played Canada, it was 47 to nothing. <laughs> yeah, actually, that game, there's been some, some special games. Of course, when we beat the States 5 to 2, and we were the first team actually to qualify for the next round that year. But the same year, we were supposed to play um, Sweden. Canada and uh, Latvia in the in the next round, and we were the only team who took point from Canada. Yep. Uh, we were down uh, one nothing. Baumeister scored the goal, and uh, Baumeister, you, you remember the name? <laughs> Something messed for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, then we scored two goals, yep. and we were up two nothing. And then they scored. Uh, uh, then they scored two two. The same guy. Actually, he hit my he hit my back when uh, so the puck was deflected. So Peter Hears couldn't uh, see the puck and he was deflected into to the net. So, but that was big uh, to take point from Canada and they become the the world champion uh, a week after. So that was a big game for for Danish hockey. The Danish Yandelaw. Yeah. <laughs> Their law. Have, have, were you faced with that coming over from a country like Canada of all places? I saw it, but I didn't give a shit because I'm from Canada, so I'm going to do what I'm going to do. So their laws. They didn't tell you, hey, wait a minute, don't think you made a great save. <laughs> well, I didn't say that. I just, just, I didn't have to tell them anything. I just did it. <laughs> I'm a man now. I can, I can give him some some shit back too. So <laughs> it's. Yeah, it's that's part of our culture, and it's less and less. Fortunately, I I think it's less and less, and and we have so many good athletes now, and so many good hockey players. If you can proudly say, "I want to go to the NHL," that's where I want to go, and people won't look at you funny anymore because we have Franz Nielsen, we have Lars Eller, and so on and so on. Because it's it's not as it was ten years ago. It's uh, less Yandelow and and more going for it.